This has been a nightmare from day one and we're still fighting and we're not going to stop fighting. Neighbors in Niagara County coming out tonight to slam plans for a new subdivision near what they say is a toxic landfill. Good evening to you. Some of those neighbors are battling cancer and say they got it from contamination that spread to their properties from the landfill. And now as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jeff Rusak explains all new tonight at 11. They are challenging the developers who say the proper precautions have been taken. The goal for one Western New York developer is to turn a plot of land off Nash Road in Wheatfield into a cul-de-sac with 20 plus homes. The engineer representing Bob Weaver, who owns a business off Niagara Falls Boulevard next to the proposed development, presented the plan to the Wheatfield Planning Board Wednesday evening. My first reaction was horse crap. Some neighbors who own homes on nearby Forbes Street are against the plan, fearing flooding in surrounding areas and contamination concerns from a nearby former landfill that contained waste from Love Canal. Brett Growey believes his liver cancer is directly related to the landfill. He was released from the hospital on Tuesday. This is one that I'm retaining fluids due to my cancer, and uh, they drained over six liters of fluid. The engineer said the site has been tested for radiation. The neighbors on Forbes Street say they should test for other contaminants. What's radiation? They need to test for the stuff like PCBs, dioxins. The blueprints currently have the closest home 650 feet away from the old landfill. Far enough, says the developer, but not far enough for Growy. I'm over a thousand feet away and they're welcome to come and look in my basement, my sump pump with the orange film, the black stuff on the walls. Most of the neighbors are currently suing the town of Wheatfield. This has been a nightmare from day one and we're still fighting and we're not going to stop fighting. Next for the proposed development, the Wheatfield Town Board will determine if the developer will need an environmental review for the project. That's when more testing could be done. In Wheatfield, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News.